Hey guys, Jonah here once again and wow, my god, it's been a crazy Easter so far. Sorry I haven't done any uploads, but I last few days have been a whirlwind, got absolutely smashed. Um Friday was 14 beers, 15 maybe. Just wow, and I'm still kind of Went out the other day, still having beers. Absolutely nuts, but chilling out today. It is Easter Sunday after all. So I thought I'd have a, a beer with you guys. Sorry it's not a an extra special Easter one. I have had a few of those. I had an Easter egg stout and I had an Oestra um, beer from a local Kent brewery. Um, both were really cool. Also had some ridiculous double that was just nuts. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy few days. Anyhow, it's going to be another one from Northern Ireland, from the uh, Beer 52 box. If you do, I've said this so many times, but if you do want to catch up on what I've been drinking, Untapped is the way to go. My link is down below. Um, there is an article about this brewery, which is always good to see. Um, but I showed that in the last video, so I'm not going to show it again. This is the Heaney Hold the Paws. Uh, it's a session IPA. Uh, and it says an Irish farmhouse beer. Um, and that's mainly because Heaney's are on a farm. Um, so that's that's why. Um, there we go. This says tradition refreshed. Our brewery is set amongst the green fields of our family farm at the woods in Blayley. Um, the same landscape as the one that inspired uh, Ireland's greatest poets. Oh, we could guess who they are. And uh, inspires us to create great things. Out of the ordinary comes the extraordinary. Hold the, for the pause and enjoy. If we look on the ingredients underneath, we got barley, we got wheat and oats. Hops in there. Obviously, the hops are Sabro, Simcoe, and Citra, I believe. My memory is uh, is like that. I thought this was originally 5%, but no, it isn't. ABV is 4.1. And they're calling this, well, they're calling it a session IPA. Um, because it's sort of under, well, I don't know. Where, where is the, the line drawn? Um, when is a session IPA? just an IPA. When is it a, a PA? I think session IPA is nonsense. It's a hoppy pale ale. An HPA. There's already a name for that. It's not SEPA. Uh, who, uh, people are calling it SEPA and it's like, it's not a, a real fucking thing. It makes me so angry. Session IPA. I could call this a black light beer. Absolutely just nuts. Anyway, let us see what we get. Oh, by the way, because it's called a session IPA, I'm getting a minus at least one point from my score for this beer for spreading the lies. As Harry Potter is being told, it is wrong to tell lies or something like that. If I catch any of these brewers, I'll carve it into their arm with my special, my special Harry Potter wand. I hate that that Harry Potter film, that particular one. I absolutely hate it. Worst character in that film is that. What's her name? It's not Uma Thurman. Jesus, can't even remember what her name is. But she's an evil bitch. Cheers. Oh, Ursula, someone. What the hell's her name? I don't know. What the actress's name is. You, If you know, let me know down below in the comments. People will no doubt accuse me of smoking the doobs again. But no, I do not do such things. Under a finger's head, but lovely fluffy white head. And nice hazy, hazy beer. No floaty bits in there from what I could see when I was pouring it, which is always good. Um... We've got oats and wheat, I believe. 
I believe, like the other beer, it's got Pilsner malt in it as their main kind of form of malt instead of Maris Otter, Optic, you know, those type of things, two row, using a Pilsner malt. Interesting. Anyway, dear viewer, um, happy Easter to you all. Cheers and beers. God save the king and all that. Oh, wow, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Mm. It's nice and light. It's herbal, flowery perhaps, but it's got that lovely sweetness and that creaminess in there too. Uh, and the Simcoe is giving it a bit of juiciness, but it's not full on juice because uh, of the oats and the wheat, I believe. This is really interesting. Um, so definitely a flowery. What was it again? Sabro. Hmm. Can't remember much about Sabro, but I know Simcoe for me gives that orangey thing. But it's not. It's more like a clementine or something like that. Imagine a clementine smoothie or something like that. Really, really interesting. Um, and it is very light. It's a light hazy beer. There is a touch of greenness there too, um, but then my palate is probably destroyed from having one of the, the beers I had that I couldn't actually find on Untapped, I'm going to have to ask the guy again who gave it to me, uh, it was a 40% stout, and I can't find it on Untapped, it was a collaboration, 40%, um, ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I only had a little glass of that. <laughs> the Easter egg one was a 9%. So my, my taste buds are probably destroyed. But this is actually quite nice. Very citrusy, um, but also that smoothness is there too. Really, really nice beer. And I don't know where that flowery kind of sort of herbally thing's coming from. I should have given it a sniff first, shouldn't I, really? But it's not really giving that much away on the aroma. Oh, I'm forgetting how to do my reviews of my beers. It's ridiculous. And some of them I couldn't review because they were very much set, like the Easter egg beer. You'll never see that one again. And there were two experimental hot beers, which was really interesting. They had two beers on cask. Um, at Gads, at the Ramsgate Brewery, I should say. She sells seashells on the seashore. But they weren't made, I think it usually uses Cascade, um, but they used two experimental hops to dry hop with. And I tasted them back to back, and they were totally different. They tasted different, and they smelled different, obviously. It was very hard to say it was the same beer, and all they'd done is change the hops. So, yeah. Really interesting doing side-by-side -side tasting. And that, dear viewer, is what you get from going to breweries. Visiting breweries is the way forward. If you get the opportunity, please do it. See if they've got anything special. If you don't ask, you don't get. But, yeah, tasting beers. I'll get back to this beer in a sec. But tasting beers, like I did at Iron Pier, for example, two exactly the same beers, one on cask, um one on uh draft and i had a bottle was it bottle or can i can't remember but i didn't try that at the brewery <sighs> pardon me but trying them literally next to each other and thinking wow this it looks the same apart from the head on the draft was better but it looked the same but the taste was so different just because of the way it was being um dispensed absolutely nuts and you would never get that unless you tried it in the brewery. So, dear viewer, it is up to you, of course. But trust me, trust Uncle Jonah. He knows what he's talking about. But he thinks he does anyway. Um, look, I have just looked at the lacing on here. Little weak line there, but, but a much bigger batter line down below. Really good to see. Right, let's con concentrate on this beer.
Okay, so because I'm drinking the last, and I'm a firm believer in the last, um, the last sip is substantially different to your first sip, especially with hazy beers. Because a lot of things fall down to the bottom and dry hop beers as well, modern beers. Your first sip and your last sip will be different. Is it because, like I think, some of the particulates sink to the bottom? Um, so you have a lot more in suspension at the bottom than you do perhaps at the top. Is it because your taste buds themselves have adapted whilst drinking the beer? Um, the neurons that are fired up here have got to have time to regenerate before they can fire again. Are they still going to be firing the same way down below? Who knows? Things to discuss in beer, especially when you're drinking, absolutely fantastic. And thank you for coming along, whether it's on the day or whether it's the next couple of days or whatever, to look at Heaney Hold the Pause Session IPA. You could call it uh, uh, an Irish farmhouse beer. Um, but yeah, don't like the Session IPA. As a pale ale, really nice, really good. I hope they sell lots of that beer. Minus one off my untapped score because you're calling it a session IPA, which is not correct. It's so annoying. It's a misanoma. Anyway, I'm not going to rant on these today. Um, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And Uncle Jonah will return with another beer review real soon. <laughs>